Tuesdays where I upload a new video every Tuesday. I thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be making peanut butter cookies, which was highly requested from my Facebook page. So thank you so much, friends, for requesting peanut butter cookies. So stay tuned to learn how to make your own delicious, delightful peanut butter cookies. You're gonna add a half cup of granulated sugar into a bowl, and then you're going to pack on a half cup of brown sugar. So you're gonna pack on that brown sugar, make sure it's a half cup, and drop it down in the bowl. And then you're gonna get a half cup of peanut butter and place that down. And add a fourth cup of shortening. And a fourth cup of softened margarine. And I just soften the margarine in a microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds and it softens up. Then you add one egg. Then you're going to mix everything together. Then you're going to add one and a fourth cup of all-purpose flour. Add three quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Then add half a teaspoon of baking powder. And mix everything together. So after stirring completely, it should look like this. Cover it up with plastic wrap or foil if you have that. Place it in the refrigerator for two hours to harden. So two hours has passed and my peanut butter cookie dough is looking really firm. So you're just going to want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees and let's go ahead and roll these into one inch balls. Okay, so grab a cookie sheet and then place parchment paper on top of the cookie sheet. You don't have to grease your pan for peanut butter cookies. Just grab um, about one inch balls or make one inch balls and roll them like this and place them on your sheet, your cookie sheet. And then I like using a fork and I'm going to make like a crisscross motion like this and repeat the process. So once you've finished rolling your dough into balls and then putting the fork impressions, you're ready to bake if your oven is already preheated to 375 degrees. Bake your cookies for about nine to 10 minutes and you're ready to enjoy. Okay, so the cookies are ready. It's been about nine to 10 minutes and they're a little bit golden brown, which is perfect. You're going to just let your cookies cool off for five minutes and then you're going to transfer them on a wire rack. So after your cookies have cooled for five minutes and it's not as soft, you can actually place your cookies on a wire rack to cool even more. and you're ready to enjoy your cookies once they have cooled a little bit more. So my husband's gonna be the taste tester. He's hey gonna guys. try his very first peanut butter cookie that I just baked. All right, here we go. So, we'll see. Ooh, this smells so good. <laughs> you like it? Oh my God. He loves peanut butter cookies, so. Oh my god, that is so good. Yeah? I'm not even joking. I know I say this about everything, but this is the best peanut butter cookie I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> no, I swear to god. It is so, so good. All right. My husband. Mm, that is so good. <laughs> <laughs> so my husband loves it mm -hmm. and I hope you give it a try. So that was it. Peanut butter cookies. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a beautiful day and remember to comment, rate, and subscribe to Cook with April. Have a beautiful day. Bye.